And then the same thing seemed to start happening in the West. By now, it was becoming ever more clear that the system had deep flaws. Every month, there were new revelations of most of the bank's involvement in global corruption, of massive tax avoidance by all the major corporations, of the secret surveillance of everyone's emails by the National Security Agency. Yet no one was prosecuted, except for a few people at the lowest levels. And behind it all, the massive inequality kept on growing. Yet the structure of power remained the same. Nothing ever changed, because nothing could be allowed to destabilize the system. But then the shape shifting began. Thank you very much. So nice. So amazing. So amazing. What? That's okay. We, I love you more, okay? The campaign that Donald Trump ran was unlike anything before in politics. Nothing was fixed. What he said, who he attacked, and how he attacked them was constantly changing and shifting. Trump attacked his Republican rivals as being all part of a broken and corrupt system. A politics where everyone could be bought, using words that could have come from the Occupy movement. You've also donated to several de Democratic candidates, Hillary Clinton included, Nancy Pelosi. You explained away those donations, saying you did that to get business-related favors. And you said recently, quote, when you give, they do whatever the hell you want them to do. You better believe it. So what specifically did they do? If I ask them, if I need them, you know, most of the people on this stage I've given to, just so you understand, a lot of money. I will tell you that our system is broken. I give to many people. Before this, before two months ago, I was a businessman. I give to everybody. When they call, I give. And you know what? When I need something from them, two years later, three years later, I call them. They are there for me. So and that's get? a broken system. So but at the same time, Trump used the language of the extreme racist right in America, connecting with people's darkest fears, pushing them, and bringing those fears out into the open. Many of the facts that Trump asserted were also completely untrue. But Trump didn't care. He and his audience knew that much of what he said bore little relationship to reality. Thank you very much. This meant that Trump defeated journalism. Because the journalists' central belief was that their job was to expose lies and assert the truth. With Trump, this became irrelevant. Not surprisingly, Vladimir Putin admired this. The liberals were outraged by Trump, but they expressed their anger in cyberspace, so it had no effect because the algorithms made sure that they only spoke to people who already agreed with them. Instead, ironically, their waves of angry messages and tweets benefited the large corporations who ran the social media platforms. One online analyst put it simply, angry people click more. It meant that the radical fury that came like waves across the internet no longer had the power to change the world.
Instead, it was becoming a fuel that was feeding the new systems of power and making them ever more powerful.